Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to the Sunless Sea, where we're going to be exploring the Scuttering Reaches. I've, I've not recovered at all from the unpleasant idea of feeding people to a bunch of spiders, but we'll get over it, because there's money involved. And money, after all, is the source of all good in this world. Oh my, no, 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 no. Also, no. Okay. The scuttering reaches. Intricate webs stretch into a darkness where the shadows are never entirely still. Gossamer threads stolen by the breeze tickle the goosebumps on your skin. A thousand unseen eyes promise a million more. Okay. Hmm. Uh, da -da -da -da. Huh. Interesting. We could bring light into the darkness. The sour spiders avoid the candlelight. But not out of any sense of fear, though far from tolerant of outsiders. They care little enough for their abandoned webs to turn a blind eye to at least a little scavenging. Up to a point. Oh dear. Alternatively, we could risk exploring without candles, but that seems stupid, so no. And we failed. Terror without. As the light of the nativity fade and the candles start to flicker, the darkness of the reaches becomes unbearable. Empty-handed but alive, you hurry back to the relative warmth and safety of the port. I would too. Leaving now. Goodbye. So yeah, our plan for the rest of this trip is pretty much... Hi, Joe. Wow, that's actually... Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not dealing with that. Nope. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Nope, you get... You just stay away from me. Not dealing with you today. Anyway, plan is after we escape this, to head over to Polythreme Godfall, get rid of all of our wine at Godfall, because they're willing to provide me with a lot of money in exchange for that. Then, Port Cecil, Salt Lions. If I had less terror, I'd go to Frostfound, but I think we just head home at that point. Could go to Vendorbite, but that seems like a terrible idea. Um, at least for now. Also, ooh, terror is a bit of a thing, isn't it? Hmm. Well, we'll not worry about it right now. Seems to be staying static at 60. Gotta keep an eye on that. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go Polythreme, Godfall. I could go to the Conate, but I'm just not gonna bother with it right now. There's no real reason to. Although, they do have fuel there. Now, no. No point in doing that just yet. Oh, come on, I had the lights on and you guys were still extremely terrified. Was it because of the spiders? Because that's a good reason to be scared, I'll, I'll be honest. I would uh, entirely sympathize with that. But, okay, yep. Sorry, just getting my bearings. Not sure where we are in Savior's Rocks, but... Uh, just northwest and we'll be going to Polythreme and it'll be fine. All will be well. Oh, hey, the Nocturne. Not gonna bother with that. Although, I wonder now, is... Hmm. How do I want to phrase this? Going there and exchanging the Foxfire Candles for silk, is that profitable? How profitable is it, and how potentially profitable could it be? These are things I'm going to have to figure out. Because you figure you don't just get one bolt of spider silk per candle. Oh, guys, always going to be trying to catch that. You failed me, again. Just... I guess it's understandable. I did sell one of them into having essentially their mind plundered by uh, pirates, but you know, that might cause some morale problems. But, uh, yeah. They'll be fine. They'll get over it. Crew is, uh, flexible like that. Um, how much space do I have? Yeah, I got plenty of space for everything I want. Actually, forgot about the checkered guy. So we can just send him off at Port Cecil. And that will be lovely. Polythreme! Sup? I'll carry our claim in. And oh yeah, by the way, strategic information at Frostfound, isn't it? Huh. Yeah, maybe we do stop up there. But we have to do something about this terror. Maybe the people at Godfall will help with that, but... Ugh. 
Ah, oh, well. All will be well-ish. Eh. I feel situation could be better. But I also want my terror situation to be okay, so it's like, which of these things do I want to sacrifice? Well-being of my crew? Yes. Um, or, well, literally anything else, actually. But no, the, um, fuel, we can convert supplies into fuel in a extremely inefficient process, but, yeah, could be done. Is an option. Will be an option. For the near-ish future. Uh, see, that, that is not nearly as unsettling to me as the mere existence of that island of spiders. Well, not really, just an island. It's actually a series of islands, an archipelago. I don't think that's what an archipelago is, actually. I've never used the term archipelago, so I wouldn't know offhand. But yeah, I went the wrong way. Technically not the wrong way, just further than needed to be gone. There we go. Yeah, you're creepy, but not that creepy. Oh, look at the face. Anyway... Hi, you're an LKS court vet. Eh, I don't really, want, I don't really want to deal with you. Sorry, but I'm just not, not that interested. Oh, fine. Now I'm interested. You did all of five damage. Good job. Good choice. Now you pissed me off. Now you gotta die. It's just the way of things here. And... not quite yet. Ah, you're... past me. That's my tactic! Going up behind people and... ugh. That's just evil of you. You kids and you're being more maneuverable than me. Oh, really? 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 Okay, there we go. Scuttle it. And... Foxfire Candles. Okay. That's fair. I have use for those. Docking. So, tell me of wine. Ooh, my, that is more wine than I remember you guys taking, but okay. And tell me more about Godfall. Great place, isn't it? Yeah, wonderful place. Have a hunting trophy. For a bunch of stories, which might or might not be profitable. Not sure. But we will leave it at that. Because now we must go to Port Cecil, drop off our little passenger, then on to the Salt Lions and Frostfound. Possibly. Again, the matter of terror and the matter of fuel is a bit, uh, problematic, shall we say? Also, I want to look back and see how much money I started this trip with, because I got a feeling I, uh, started with more money than I'm returning with. But, uh... That's neither here nor there. Could kill that moray eel. Probably won't, though. Got no particular reason to. I mean, hunting trophy, sure, but... Don't think that gives me any Stygian ivory, does it? Can't recall. But not gonna worry about that. Am I on the right side for the... Yep, I'm on the right side for Port Cecil. Now, if I was particularly clever, I'd have gotten Salt's attention before I did all this, because then we could actually start off with, well, yeah, more or less start off with an Acreous Outcast. And we technically, we've started the story already, it's just not progressed, so, yeah. Oh, well. That is neither here nor there. Drop him off. Get my money. I've already done, oh. Yeah, let's explore the Knot. The Coral Knoll, not the Knot. A privateer encampment. Uh, that seems like a terrible idea. Could creep close and ears eavesdrop, though. Ears drop? Really? Ugh, terrible. Gather our intelligence. And I think that is about it. Yep, pretty much. I wonder if putting a Blemigan aboard... Hmm. Would putting a Blemigan onto Port Cecil be a terrible thing to do? I'm fairly certain it would be. I mean, mostly for the abuse of the... Oh, yep, that... Mm, that music is disturbing. 
I feel like that would abuse the uh, lemmigans. It's technically animal fungus abuse? I'm not sure what... I'm not sure how you would classify that. I'm ignorant of this information, but I would like to know. I mean, they're technically fungus, but they're also animals. Or they have animal-like behavior. We need to dissect a blem again and figure out what's going on with them. Anyway, trying to avoid this. Do -do -do. Skirting the fog bank, probably not a good idea. But, oh well. Eh, that terror level. Hmm. Don't think there's anything at Frostfound or the Salt Lines that will decrease terror. Well, it's hard to remember. No, Frostfound does have one event that I think decreases terror a bit. Salt Lions probably doesn't. Although, hey, if we're lucky, our something awaits you. Quality will get us something useful. Either way, though, ducking, give me my synced stone. Wonderful. Uh, hmm. Oh, I could carry multiple... <gasps> nope. Can't really... I mean, if I threw some stuff overboard, I could. And technically, that wouldn't be the worst of ideas, but no. Actually, what am I saying? No, I've got 83 hold space. So yeah, I could absolutely carry more Sphinx Stone. Yeah, yeah, Stone's weeping. Not gonna care about that. Visit with the Unmakers, though, and lose a bit of terror. That is a good idea. Also, heading over to Frostfound. Although this may very well cause us some trouble. Should be fine. Should be fine. Probably won't be, but should be fine. Oh, hey, there's an another little gap over here now. Huh. Neat. Unless that was always there, and I'm just not seeing that. But, doesn't matter. Also, very weird. Yeah, very weird that we're tearing apart these salt lions. Why are we doing that, by the way? Does does anyone know? No? Just sort of doing it because, I mean, there's Sphinx Stone there. Why not? Need something to do on a Tuesday night? Destroying monuments. Seems like a thing. Do, 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 do. I have no idea how I would come here with low enough terror that I could actually go into Frostfound. Hmm. Not gonna worry about that. Create our port report right now. Uh, now there's the matter of the Iremi or the Withern contact. Uh, apparently it's gonna be the Iremi one. A riddle fisher is wearing the blue and red scarf that marks him as a contact. It would be a riddle fisher. What are the odds he'll give you a straight answer? Pretty much none. Cool. Which Troy was drowned? How many battles until the iridescence? Who went east? Perhaps the riddle fisher is trying to help. Perhaps they're trying to drive you out of your mind. You're forced to give up. The mission is a failure. Huh. That's disappointing. Hmph. Oh well. How many secrets do I have? I think it's about time I actually spent a few of them. Six of them? Oh yes. We should absolutely... Improve some skills. Uh, what do you improve again? Mirrors. I'm kind of okay with our mirrors quality. Pages could be made better. And you still are not ready. Uh, my friend, it would be nice if you just talked to me, maybe? No? Cool. That's fine, we'll, um... Yeah, you know what? I think it's better to have one skill that's really high just for the sake of inheritance. But I'm not absolutely sure of that. Uh, it'll be fine. Either way, it will be fine. You are not hostile, so we don't have to worry about you. We're just gonna head back to London, pretty much. Um, yeah, nothing else I really want to visit, actually, at the moment, so just straight on to London. Just gonna sit back and watch the Z go by. Try to figure out the pattern they have going on with the waves. Huh. 
Nope, can't tell. Anyway, moving along. Actually, is it a repeating pattern? It kind of looks like it is, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Huh. Anyway, enough staring at the water. Let's, um, let's see here. That should be part of... Nope, that is not at all part of London. There's really nothing out here? I mean, technically the Chapel of Lights, and I could have ran around the northern coast. Which actually wouldn't have been a... It would have been a bad idea, because I don't have that much fuel left. So, best to just make the straight... Yeah, make the straight path to London. I mean... Uh, decreases profit, but it's fine. It's never fine. You should never do that, but it'll be okay. Is the general idea I'm going for. Uh, nope. You're nothing I care about. Oh, bats. By which I mean supplies. Always useful. Always love a good bat swarm. Hi, friends. Gonna eat you all. Because you're delicious. Gather up the corpses. Gain a little bit of terror. You guys will be fine. Oh, you kids and you're complaining about bats. You always complain about the bats. I mean, all the hundreds of other things on the Z that are just horrifying. Well, that's fine. But eating bats? Oh, that's just gruesome, isn't it? Ugh. Kids these days. Dreams of a city? Hello. Here's the city of sandstone and granite. The inhabitants walk gossiping in the streets, sipping dark wines. They're dressed for a warm day, but it's the night of the neath here. There's an air of uneasy celebration. What are they saying? There's an air of celebration, as with many languages spoken in dreams. You understand the meaning without understanding the words. A great disaster has been averted. The king's folly is ended by the princess's cunning. The heralds of night are bound. Yes, the sun is gone, and no, the place below ground are not what had been taught, but perhaps that's for the best, considering. It will be remembered. They will mark their triumph. You wake. What language were they speaking? Huh. Okay. So that's another city that we're observing there? In that dream? Hmm. And what type of city? They're dressed for a warm day. Uh, would have been one... Well, obviously it's one of the earlier ones. That's not really telling us much. Oh, could that be the... um? Oh, the city that was the precursor to the Khanate. I cannot recall the name. But there were princesses involved in that. Of course, I mean... Technically, every monarchy has had a princess at one point or another. So, you know, could be anything, but... Hmm. I'm not sure. Not sure what that was about. Not going to worry about it right now. Not going to battle either. Could visit this old burnt-out house. Might do that. Okay, guys, give it a shot. Wonderful. Do love a strange catch. Sounds delicious, actually. Speaking of, here, do something with this. Alas, too ordinary. The flesh goes into the sh shipboard's Althanar stove. Ah, yes. An edifice of his own invention that combines the functions of roasting and refinement. Steam rises, the crew licks their lips. In question, what is refinement with regards to cooking? I have so many questions. Uh, not going to need this, though. Even though I could technically do that. Nothing changed? Cool. Good to know. You know, it occurs to me I should probably check on the sigil written navigator every single time I hear that little bell sound. Or whatever sound indicates something has changed over here. Haven't been doing that. Probably should have been doing that. But, oh well. Great, another spy. See, this is why I didn't want to take any risks like that. Lost another strategic information. If they'd stolen vital intelligence, that would have been disastrous. Might just sell the strategic information at this point because I keep losing it to spies. Every single time. Every single time I have strategic info, it gets lost to a spy. 
it's infuriating. Quite infuriating, in fact. But it's fine. It's all reasonably close to okay. I'm gonna come here and dock. Okay. Hi. Yeah, I forgot about this. Could go with her. Penstock's. Uh, oh dear. She's down the gangplank as soon as she's docked. I need to talk to Penstock, she says. The land agent, the one at the bazaar. She hesitates. She bites her lip. Will you come with me? Of course, we'll go with her. Penstock's land agency. A modest office in an immodest location. Hard against the eastern flank of the bazaar. That spired fortress of commerce that towers over London. Penstock's... Well, Penstock stoops like a clerk and coughs like a miner, but his eyes are very wise. The Sundered Sea. There's another sea beneath the bazaar, Penstock declares. A paler sea. Yes, I would imagine you might make the bargain your mother made. Yes, I helped her go down there, but she took a terrible chance even then. And the bazaar is not well. Not now. Are you certain? Uh, let her go down there. I mean... Eh. The daughter follows Penstock back into the shop to a redly lit grotto hollowed from the bazaar's carapace. A heavily chained cage lift awaits you there. You must descend into the most secret spaces of the bazaar. Penstock's wicket, she says. He has an understanding with the bazaar. He let my mother pass through long ago to make her a bargain. Now it will follow. Is that really such a terribly good idea? Mm, it's a terrible idea, but we'll go... Eh. We'll go with it. I want to match my mother, she says reasonably. I want to learn the great signs. The courier, the bazaar, is the only one who will teach me. I have to go. I mean, I think we've done almost everything we could possibly do. To help her, so... Go for it. Hey! No. Shoot. Wait, maybe he's rival? Maybe he's rival? I'm, I'm not sure... Didn't we get someone different before? The cage rises, rattling into view. Your officer is shivering, caked with lumps of something like ivory-colored snow, but grinning brilliantly. The sundered sea, she cries. The bazaar. Oh, he's so much more than any bazaar. My mother, I have back what she took from me. She taps you playfully on the shoulder as you haul back the lift door. Thank you, here's a little present I picked up on the shore. Did she get what she wanted? Oh yes, and so much more. I have one more tattoo now, but it's one that no one will ever, ever see. Huh. Well, she survived. Although I think she's different than what I expected. Oddly enough, collect our messages. Oh. The alarming scholar wants to talk. I mean, I suppose we could do that. Oh, a present. How thoughtful. Not just yet, though. Thank you. Um, going to go home, actually. Going... No. No, no, no. Going home. Spend time with the family. And, of course, we will tell our child of far-off lands. Something you saw far across the Black Ocean. Share it. This is a kindness. Okay. Sorry, for a moment there I thought that I had enough in order to get my child to become a scion. Nope, I do not have that. So, the Arming Scholar, what'd you get for me? Supplies? Thank you. That saves me some money. Gonna have to keep my Searing Enigma, as I recall. But we could get rid of our intriguing snippets there of no value in and of themselves. Hmm. And I shall do the traditional turning in of things. Let's go over to the lodgings. And by lodgings, I mean... Uh, where is... London. There you are. Deliver a Sphinx phone... Sphinx... Oh, wow. Deliver a Sphinx stone to... Question mark? A smiling woman in an elegant Jean Quill gown places a gloved hand on your arm. Are you waiting for the ministry, men? They won't be coming, but I have a proposition for you. Interesting. Her skin glows with health. Her smile is wise and merciless. 
You sons of bitches. Nope, not doing that. That stone's full of old memories. The bazaar has been drinking them. She nods at the spires that loom over London, the dark limbs that sprawl through the streets. I have a better destination. Help us bring light here below and we will reward you. Reward you richly. Except rich reward, light. These are happy words. Hmm. Refuse those bright, bright eyes, the unmistakable mark of the dawn machine. None understand the dawn machine, but all fear it. Who knows what its motives are, or hers? Indeed. A bright and brittle smile. Not an admirer of progress, I see. Well then, keep your stone, keep your memories. None so blind as those who will not rise. A dusty gentleman. Huh. Captain, wait, she gave you an errand, didn't she? She serves a certain power, a bright one, but not a friendly one. I have a counter-proposal, will you listen? Or... You turned her down, didn't you? That was wise. The power she serves is no friend to London or to the bazaar. I have a proposal of my own, will you listen? Sure, why not? A lot of people want this Sphinx Stone. What is it, exactly, doing for you people? I... okay. He stoops like a clerk and coughs like a miner. That frock coat is one of the finest fabric and the newest cut. My name is Penstock, he says. The bazaar has been feasting on old memories from the salt lines. It only makes her more melancholy, and that is worse for all of us. But especially those who love her. So we found another use for the Sphinx Stone. We can set something right. Take it far away. We'll tell you where. You will be paid. If you've already arranged with the bright eye sequencer, yeah, I can... I'm willing to set things right. I do love the bazaar. It's a lovely place. Lovely courier. Lovely whatever the hell the bazaar actually is. Sounds fair. Oh, we're going to bring it to Adam's way. I'm grateful. Here, he presses a crumpled note into your hand. This is where you should take it. You'll learn something, I think. I had to seek the master's help for this. We'll all be enmeshed in their plans, but it's worth it. I swear it's worth it. Interesting. Oh, wait, that's going to take up 40 cargo space this whole time, isn't it? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I'll well, deliver our clay, man. Hmm. Our new recruit, probably just a Zailer. Yep. Huh. Well, okay, I mean, all that's left is handing in silly little things like our port reports, which I can do off-camera. This is an intriguing development. I'm curious what we're going to find at Adam's Way. And we have reason enough to go after the Snuffer at this point, so that'll be what we plan to do for next episode. But for now, thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I will see you all soon.